Hello again everyone, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Galveston, Texas to Orange County, Texas. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. Looks like the weather is pretty crappy, but we'll give this a try anyway. Uh, I've already set a flight level of 2,000 feet. Let's see, so... Parking brake off. And let's start heading down the runway. Seeing some lightning, not to be unexpected, I guess, with this kind of weather. It should be about noon here, so it's pretty dark. Obviously a very thick cloud cover. Alright, let's go with some more throttle. A bit of trouble staying straight on the runway. I might need to tweak these pedals a little bit, but let's go ahead and lift off. Alright. Landing gear up. Pull a little bit back on the throttle. I'm overdoing it on the torque. Alright. Flaps up. Stick to compensate. Okay, so once we get a bit more altitude, I'm going to turn toward our intended route. This seems scary, given you can't see anything at all out the front window, but you know I'm so used to flying by the Garmin system that doesn't feel that scary. Uh, we'll be able to see where we're going. We just may not be able to see anything else. Okay, so we're turning towards our heading, continuing to climb as well. Sort of getting close to our intended altitude of 2000. KH351, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Tower KH351 frequency change. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and Houston put approach on... KH351 is type Beechcraft King Air 3 miles east of Kilo Golf Lima Sierra. Altitude. Request flight following. Autopilot. KH351 Houston approach. And navigation. Oh, why does it have altitude of minus 2000? That's not what we want at all. Radar contact, 4 miles east of Kilo Golf Lima Sierra, 2400 feet. Alright, that's not what we want. Copy KH351. Over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed. Over speed. Oh yeah, we're going really fast. Over speed. Alright, it slows down. Okay, I think I have things under control. I'm not sure why altitude went down to minus 200. I might have accidentally scroll the knob while scrolling around with the mouse. Um, I did want to be at 2000. So we'll set that. Give it a bit more throttle so it can climb some more. And I think I have Navigation on, yes, so it is navigating for us. Pull back on the throttle, don't want to overdo it, we're going kind of fast. I uh, really did want to go up to 2000, let's turn flight level change on again. There we go, that's what I wanted. It'll help with the overspeed. Alright, so early on in the game I think I would have been pretty frightened to be in this situation, but this feels under control. It was a little shaky, I wasn't paying attention to some things, the altitude went to minus 200. It was going to try to comply, so that would have been disastrous. Um, but now we're at altitude, we're at a good speed, we're on course. The other airport is, I don't know, half an hour away or something. 
I'm gonna grab the Xbox controller. I'm guessing there really just isn't anything to see. <laughs> uh, normally on my Learning to Fly tour, there's sightseeing, things to look at. There just isn't anything. Um, I'll try to go look outside and see what that looks like. Alright, that's not gonna it's not gonna do us a lot of good. Just absolutely nothing at all. I do see some water below. Okay. Well that's nice. I'm starting to see some something. Alright, well maybe I'll take the drone out and we'll go explore the coastline. I'll keep it following the plane. Sounds very stormy. Feels like the frame rate's a little low, I'm not really sure why. Maybe the uh, volumetric clouds. I've noticed before when there's a ton of clouds that performance starts to drop. Okay, so this is obviously some main highway here. It just it just sounds awful outside. And then here we go up into the clouds. I wonder if I can go above the clouds and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm in the drone, I'm supposedly going up. I'm not seeing anything. I assume I'm still ascending, but uh, you know, just you can't really tell. Who knows where I'm at? I can check on the plane. Alright, well that all seems fine. Let's see, let me keep going up. Let's see if we can get to a point where I can see over these clouds. But I just have no idea what direction I'm pointing in. Okay, now I'm starting to see something. Here we go. That's... oh wow. Okay, this is beautiful. This is kind of what I was hoping to see. Just a big stormy cloud field and the blue sky. Must be uh, water off in the distance, I guess. I don't know what altitude we're at with the drone. I don't know if there's a way to tell either, but it must be 20,000 feet or something. All right, well, I'm going to reset back to the plane. Quite a bit different weather-wise. Go to the external view. Let's go back and look, see what it looks like inside. So as a pilot, this is what you'd see. Um, just not a lot to go on, but at least we're starting to see some landmarks. Without the Garmin system, I think I would be pretty lost to find my way around. Um, one thing I'd like to try sometime is instead of using the GPS navigation, use VOR navigation just for fun, see what that's like. I'm imagining that it would take a bunch of different turns. I'm going to drop throttle a little bit. I see us getting up there in speed. So I just feel like it might be better to drop. Just not not a lot to see here.
Alright, well, we're still not able to see very much. I'm gonna go outside again and look around. Looks like we're at a crossover point for the clouds. That's interesting. When we started out, it was raining, but the rain stopped quite a bit ago. This is just really interesting looking with all the cloud formations in the background. The um, highlight coming from the sun. Still can't see where we're going, but I'm sure when we get there, that won't be a problem. Going to one three three decimal in KH three five one. I've tried to fly before and I've been denied clearance because of IFR reasons. It didn't happen this time, and so I guess this didn't count as IFR because it's partially visible or something, but boy, when we sure took off, I couldn't see anything, just pure gray for a long time. Thank you to the co-pilot for handling all the radio traffic. Barometer adjustment so the plane will adjust accordingly. I haven't really tried to use this panel very much. I'm interested to see can I zoom in and zoom out with these? Well, that's a nice view. It might be more zoomed out than the VFR map gives you. Alright, so we can actually see how far along we are here. Let's see other airplanes. Can't tell who they are. Could be players, could be cloned real flights. Half bank. Not sure what that is. I guess it has to do with turning. I don't know what the difference between course and heading are. I guess it depends on what mode navigation mode you're in. And then I wonder what else you could do on this screen. That resets the view. <laughs> Doesn't look like you can do very much. Oh, that turns some tracking back on just like the VFR map. That's what that does. Um, I've tried to use these things down here. These all seem to be kind of interoperative. Um, in other airplanes, you can use the direct and not to change the flight plan. <laughs> Maybe there's some way to do that still up here, but I'm not really sure. Alright, I'm going to reset the view. Oh, look at the reflection. Oh, that's... that's nice. Just admiring the reflection here. Okay, resetting the view. Still can't see much. Let's go look outside. At least we have partial visibility. See some pink sky off on the left.
clouds just look so interesting and complex. Lots of rain systems or something. Really impressed me all that. And heading into the gray again, that's fine. I'm going to take over from autopilot from here on out and we'll start slowing down a bit. Alright, so I don't want to drop too much in altitude but I do want to drop in speed. So I'm going to keep the uh, the yellow arrow on the display sort of, I guess, somewhere around that horizontal white line. Although I'm not sure if that means level. Anyway, <laughs> but I need to, to uh, not lose altitude. The landing pattern is likely to be at around this altitude, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. Okay, getting off course just a little bit, not too bad. See some stuff out the window there. Getting very close to the airport. Uh, don't want to get too much more altitude, so I'll try to keep a hold on that. I'm not sure which of these which of these markings means level. Maybe that one. No, that seems to be going up. Maybe this one here. Just looking at the little gradation, the vertical gradations on the display. It seems like if I stick to this one, I kind of stay level, but I'm not sure if that's what that means. Momentarily, the co pilot will radio the tower or whoever's there. I think this is a small rinky dink airport. Um, it mentioned grass runways in addition to asphalt. Okay, I'm going to continue to drop altitude, I'm sorry, drop speed a bit more by th lowering the throttle. Uh, let's head back up to 2000, that'll also burn off some of that speed. to the speed where I can put the flaps down. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle just a bit more. I want to get that speed down. Kilo Oscar Romeo Golf traffic KH35111 miles southwest 2000 feet inbound to land runway 4. Landing here. Landing, Landing here. here. Yep. Landing here. And we do need some more altitude, so let's just give it a bit more throttle. Once I get up there, I will put the flaps down and slow back down, but we do need to get Coast the rest of the way up in altitude and drop speed and then turn, put down the flaps. So let's make our turn. Okay, I'm dropping throttle all the way down and we're doing definitely going too fast. Okay, now I can put the flaps down. Kilo Oscar Romeo Golf Traffic KH351 is on final runway for to land. Start with that. 
push forward on the stick to keep the nose from going up. And then we want to descend. Descend and lose speed. And so let's put the flaps down the rest of the way. That should help with the loss of speed. Can't see the runway, but the Garmin will know where to find it. Okay, we've slowed down significantly. That's a good thing, but I do have to keep it at a safe speed. So I'm going to throttle up a bit more. Uh, let's level off the roll. I'm anticipating maybe some gusts as we get towards the ground, but we'll see. Uh, landing gear is already down. Too fast, yeah. Okay, let's slow down. Also, too high. Let's nose down. And we'll do a little bit of turning. That'll help get rid of some of that speed. I'm going to go throttle all the way down for now. Try to get this speed down. Okay, well that's better. Alright, I can actually see the runway now. That's a good thing. I'm starting to drop a little bit in speed. Need to throttle up some more. Not too much, but enough. Trying to avoid getting too low in speed here. Those flaps are what's keeping us af aloft right now. That white line on the speed ticker tape. Alright, well this is a good speed. If we can maintain this, then we should have a nice smooth landing. Just drop throttle just a tad. Try not to nose up too much. throttle a bit more. I want to try to get it below 100. 500. Okay, might have to watch the throttle a bit so we don't drop out of the sky here at the last minute. So I'm just trying to watch Watch the airspeed carefully. Leave a safety margin. Okay, this might this might be good. Maybe a little bit more throttle for a second. All right, let's try to get centered on the runway and then uh, center the airplane. Let's try to hover. Wanna hover. Not where I need to be. Okay, now we're stalling, so this is not good. Alright, so we landed. That's not a very good landing. But I don't think it really did any damage to the plane. It just got a little crazy. Alright, so we're on the ground. I think I can turn over here. this turn. Ah, turn too short. Still getting used to the pedal braking and steering. Okay, I've got the th RPM down. I'm not sure why the propellers are sounding so quick. 
Kilo Oscar Romeo Golf Traffic KH351 is taxiing one. to runway 4. That's not the one I meant. Clear of runway. Kilo Oscar Romeo Golf Traffic KH351 is clear of the runway. Alright, let's go forward a little. It's interesting that there's a fire engine showing up. I wonder what's on fire. Are they, I hope they're not coming for me. Yeah, the engine is overheating because we're not moving, I guess. Alright, well let's go forward and get out of here. Uh, truck, you're gonna have to wait because I'm here. Alright, we're gonna stop right here, put on the parking brake. I don't know why the engines are revving up so high. Alright, let's turn off the engines anyway. Alright, so we are in Orange County, Texas. The weather has cleared up a bit. Not happy about that landing, but, you know, still learning, still practicing. Um, really not sure what went wrong. I think part of the problem was I was staring at the screen, but I could have actually been looking at the real runway because it had become in view, so that might be part of the problem. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.